Hi there, Erin here from Nutrition by Erin, and I'm here to teach you how to measure your waist and your hip circumference. Now you may be wondering, why do I even need to measure this? I can just go ahead and step on the scale and know if I'm overweight, underweight, or pretty happy with my weight. But we know that your waist circumference as well as your waist-hip ratio are other good indicators to track when you're looking at your overall health. So for women, we want to keep our waist circumference to 35 inches or less. And for men, that's 40 inches or less. And the reason is we know when we have abdominal obesity or more fat in our midsection, that can be pro-inflammatory and increase your risk for chronic diseases. Things like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, even certain cancers. Now the waist-hip ratio, that's another way to assess are you more apple-shaped, pear-shaped, or kind of just straight up and down. And I'll teach you in a second how to know if that ratio is in a good line. So the first step, get a basic tape measure, something like this, and we need to find where your waist is. So typically I have people put their hand on their hip, and you want to feel for the midsection between the bottom of the rib cage, the top of the hip bone, and there's a place where it meets in the middle. You can also find that by leaning over to the side, and you may feel a crease point or kind of feel those bones. Keep your finger on that point, and that's where your waist is. Now you can either measure it by yourself, just you know, if you're on your own, or have a friend or family member do it for you. Just make sure that the tape measure lies flat and doesn't get caught up in your clothing or it's all crooked. So you simply get the measure. Don't suck in or breathe out, just breathe normally and you get your measure. Then the next step is your hip circumference. And so I like to have my clients put their hands on their side, bring your knee up, doesn't matter which one. And you feel for a crease point. Where does your leg hit, hit the hip bone? Keep your finger there, drop the foot down. That's going to be where your hips are. And it actually should go along where the widest portion of the torso is. We like to call that the buttocks. So you take your your tape measure, same sort of thing, and you want to measure straight across along that point, and you get your measurement. That's your hip circumference. Then you take your waist to hip ratio, so your waist number divided by the hip number, and you get that ratio. Now for men, we think that they are considered healthier if that ratio is less than 1.0, whereas for women, it's healthier if that ratio is less than 0.8. So I encourage you to find yours and, and see where you stand, and over time, see how these numbers change. Thanks for tuning in.